Monday, July 1st, 2019. Trump steps into North Korea and agrees with Kim Jong-un to resume talks. President Trump on Sunday became the first sitting American commander-in-chief to set foot in North Korea as he met Kim Jong-un at the heavily fortified demilitarized zone. After about a minute on officially hostile territory, Mr. Trump escorted Mr. Kim back over the line into South Korea, where the two held a private conversation along with President Moon Jae-in of South Korea. Never before had American and North Korean leaders met at the military demarcation line where heavily armed forces have faced off across a tense divide for 66 years. North Korea hails Kim Trump summit as historic, while analysts say Pyongyang is looking to shape the narrative to its own agenda. Syria says four are killed as Israeli jets hit targets in Homs and Damascus. Israel has not yet commented. U.S. officials attend opening at a newfound Roman-era street at a divisive archaeological site in East Jerusalem, deepening Palestinian animosity toward the White House. As European efforts fall short, Iran vows to soon breach uranium stockpile limits. European efforts to persuade Iran to stick with the limits of the nuclear deal have been insufficient, and the country will breach uranium stockpile limits soon, a move that could further escalate tensions with the United States. Iran has been threatening to surpass the limit of low enriched uranium that the country is allowed to possess under the nuclear agreement unless it receives the sanctions relief that the deal promised in return. Breaching the limit would be a symbolic move but would not put Iran significantly closer to building a nuclear weapon. Ten killed when small plane struggles to take off and crashes in Texas. Ammunition sales surge in California ahead of background check requirement that goes in effect today. Facebook aims to prevent census misinformation and also launches a civil rights task force to help respond to potential election interference. Trump appeals U.S. judges' border wall funding ruling. Trump on Saturday appealed a U.S. judge's ruling that blocked his administration from using $2.5 billion in funds intended to construct a wall along the U.S. border with Mexico. We think we'll win the appeal, Trump said during a press conference on Saturday at the G20 summit. Trump says construction of a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border is needed to keep out illegal immigrants and drugs, but he has so far been unable to get congressional approval to do so. Brooklyn court candidate slams Victor, who switched to Jewish surname. Progressive groups eye New York incumbents to challenge after Tiffany Caban's win. Three are injured after high winds take down scaffolding atop Brooklyn building. <laughs>